Hey, good morning to everybody. Today we're gonna work in this 2015 Toyota Aqua. And this episode is gonna be very, very interesting because we're going to properly rebalance the high voltage battery. So, you wanna learn how to properly connect the battery to the machine and do the complete rebalance? Why do you say to do it together? Okay, so stick around and then we will continue then. Well, yes, it is a little noisy here in the shop today. Remember, the first thing we gotta do, before doing anything, we gotta take out the high voltage battery. Hi, but remember, I'm not showing you how to take it out. I have many other videos. Check it out in the channel. So, let me continue. Okay, so we have the battery here in the lab. So first of all, before doing anything, I'm gonna have to take this battery apart do the full service hi there are more videos about that in this episode I am going to show you how to properly do the rebalance of the high voltage battery do you remember that we have a group of modules connected in series right once we do the proper service we need to connect it to the machine in order to fully charge it right or what we call to rebalance I'm gonna show you that process but I'm gonna show you um, one of the best procedures that from the engineering point of view it's better because it's a hundred percent accurate okay by using simple physics okay just let me take it apart and I'm gonna make you all the examples with another group of modules that I'm also doing the balancing so we will continue then I'm going to prepare you that as I said we're gonna use simple physics from the engineering point of view, but I'm making it as simple as possible. So let me explain what we're gonna do, all right? Let me give you just a piece of uh, explanation. I'm sorry about the drawer, I'm not the best drawer, okay? So, all right. So we consider this, this is a bottle of water, for example. This is another bottle of water, okay? Now, obviously, as you can see, this one has more water than this one right but they are all connected to a small valve underneath let's say if by chance I simply open up this valve what do you think it's gonna happen once I open because this one has more water than this one okay obviously it's going to calm down and level with the other tank okay so let's say I open it begins to flow the water reach to this one and what's gonna happen is that this one is gonna raise up a little bit 11 and this one's gonna come down to a little bit okay and then both eventually are gonna be at the very same level so let's consider this that we are balancing these couple of tags so why do you think it is or it could be different a battery like for example this let's make this one a, a, a battery with a state of charge of 20% and this one with a state of charge with 80% okay more state of charge less state of charge so we're talking here when as I said from the um, engineering point of view this we have a potential difference so how do we balance this is exactly the same thing we open up the bow in order for them to connect to each other the state of charge this one's gonna go down a little bit reduce and this one's gonna raise until this moment both of them are gonna have exactly the same state of charge how do we do that
Oh, sorry, I got a little intro. So you might be asking, Jose, what in the world are you talking about? One thing, if you work, for example, with sound systems and work with uh, lithium batteries, I'm pretty sure you're very, pretty much familiar with this, okay? But when it comes to hybrid batteries, we're gonna apply the, exactly the same principles. So the main question is, how do I bring a group of modules with a little difference when it comes to potential, uh, let's say it again, potential difference or different voltage between each other? How do I balance them in order to have exactly the same voltage? Now remember, I am considering in this case, this battery is in very good condition, okay? So what we're doing is just a simple rebalance. Bring all the modules to exactly the same state of charge, okay? Because you gotta remember, in Toyota nickel metal hydrate batteries, sadly, the computer does not have the passive balancing system in order to keep all the modules with exactly the same state of charge because in time then the modules in the middle they lose lose state of charge okay because they're losing capacity and that's how your battery goes unbalanced so again the main question is jose you're talking too much how in the world do you do that let me show you we'll continue jose i'm tired of your explanation let's get to the real stuff now and i will say okay let's take a look Okay, so we have two modules over here. Remember, this is just for making you a quick example. We have two modules, positive, positive, negative, negative. But we're gonna, I'm gonna see first of all, the state of charge of the modules. So in order to do that, the only thing I'm gonna do, I'm just going to connect it in parallel for a moment. Oh, 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 oh sorry, sorry, give me a second. Let me just tighten it up, give me a second. Okay, so we just put a little bus bar and tied it up to the negative pole. And I just want to measure the state of charge of each one. For example, this one, which is a little brighter gray. Let's see. 7.3 volts. And the other one, 6.76. It is obvious that we have a potential difference here, right? Because the state of charge of the batteries are different. Jose, you're talking too much. All right, let's get to the real stuff. We'll continue. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to connect positive terminal. So remember, again, 8.3, 6.76. Negative, positive. Okay. I may say there could be a little connection over here. Let's check the voltage now. So it's not 8.3 and it's not seven and it's not 6.76. It's 7.3 something. And the other the only thing we did is we're measuring the voltage of these two modules connected in parallel. Do you remember about the valve? Once we open the valve, well, consider this little bus bar, the valve between them. Okay, at this very moment, the state of charge from the module who has the more potential difference than the other one is delivering voltage to the other one. Why? Simple physics. Do you remember the tank? Once you open the valve, the highest one, the heaviest one goes down and the low one. So we're talking about leveling or balancing in this case when it comes to state of charge. So how do we do that with all the modules? Well, you can easily get all the punch of modules and connect them in parallel with the bus bars, but I have a pretty much uh, easy way to do it with a customized balancer that I use here at the shop. Let me show you. Give me a second. Here we... Oh! 
Yeah, just let me put it on the table. <laughs> Give me one moment. <laughs> so this is just my mechanical customized balancer. How does it work, Jose? Well, you see, negative pull, positive pull. Here what I do. This one is customized for these modules. Now, what does this really do? Well, it's literally a balancer. Look. <laughs> so we are we are literally balancing the machine, the module in this case. Okay. Now one thing. You got to be careful with the poles. You cannot connect it in series, all right? If you connect it in series, negative to positive, you could create a fire and gonna get a big spark. So look what's happening over here. There you go, connected in parallel. Now I have now literally my balancing machine. As I said, applying simple physics, okay? So. You might be saying, Jose, that is a little mind-blowing, but hear my point. This one has more state of charge than this one. Once you levelize them, connecting them in parallel, they're going to equalize, they're going to balance. There is absolutely no machine that is going to rebalance your hybrid modules better than a physical balancer. Okay, because it's just, as I said, simple physics. They are going to be in balance with 100% accuracy. So once you finish serving your battery, you connect it to the prolonged, to the CQ, there are 100,000 brands of different chargers, more fancy, more expensive than another. All of them work, all of them work. But once you finish, you have to put all your modules into this machine for at least a couple of days okay because remember she's self-balancing it's a very slow process but once it finished it's going to have 100% accuracy but let me show you how it works give me a second so let's do all the measurements again Eight point zero seven. Let's check the state of charge on this one. Six point twenty one. Again, eight point zero seven. Six point twenty seven. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect them in parallel. saw a spark <laughs> I don't know if you saw it but I saw it but before we continue I want to measure and this now is current so I'm going to switch this because I want to visualize that now what happens to the current okay so here what I'm gonna do I'm going to I am I unplug this one it's not plugging in and I'm just measuring the current look unplug it now look you know what's that right that is current guys that's current flowing from the module that had high state of charge to this one that has low state of charge so there's current flowing from this negative to this cable over here entering the negative pole of the other module there you go <laughs> and this is the process how we properly connect all the modules and bring them back to balance 100% accurate doesn't matter the machine you use nobody is going to do the balancing better than this whether you like it or not let's continue and at this very moment i have 28 modules 
which is exactly the equivalent for a Toyota Prius, a complete hybrid battery pack, simply rebalance it by connecting them in parallel in the balancing machine. So here's one thing. Let's do a quick measurement over here. Okay, let's see the voltage. You can see the voltage. Well, the overall voltage is 7.1, 7.10. Now, I'm measuring the voltage just between the two aluminum connections. Remember, I'm using aluminum because aluminum is an amazing conductor. But if I measure the individual, let's see, individual voltage, 7.1, 7.9, let me see. 7.9, let me see. Yes, they're becoming in balance very fast. 7.13, 7.10. They begin to go in balance very fast, but this is exactly how the machine works simple use basic physics potential difference once you connect it in parallel your battery will go in balance with 100 percent accuracy what do you think leave your opinion in the comments because for, for some of you uh, especially the guys that work in sound system you're pretty much familiar with this but if you don't this i think it could be a, something new for you so whatever you have opinion about this leave it in the comments you gotta remember subscribe hit that red little button over there okay remember guys you gotta support the channel this is made for you okay let's continue then because i still have a lot to do and finally another way to bring your battery to balance by simply using in this case remember you can use any type of charger you want because I have low rate current chargers like this one for Prius C, Aqua or for the, or for the Prius which is the other one but they do exactly the same so what do I do this how do I rebalance the battery with this machine well same principle this is just a charger injects a little more potential difference that the battery it has like for example this one nominal value of 144 voltage and this delivers 180 so if i connect them in parallel positive to positive and negative to negative of course obviously like a normal charger connector okay i'm injecting more voltage from the charger to the battery but let me show you if i inject voltage what i'm gonna do is I'm going to bring, let's say, these are the state of charge, right? Just giving you an example, okay? And I begin, I connect them, clang and clang, to the charger. I begin to get to inject, and then the, but remember, I'm not using high current very low current like 0 0.3 something like that amps so what is the what is this gonna do it's gonna bring the module state of charge to its maximum but if I take it this if I charge this can you see the rate is gonna be a little different right this one's gonna reach the maximum but not this one but if I inject a collective full charge and this one reaches the top the energy stored on this one is gonna be lost energy now how it will turn into heat and that's it it will dissipate the heat how well using this dissipating the heat through the wind so in the meantime these other one is gonna keep going up very slowly until they all reach the maximum state of charge and finally all my modules are in complete balance it's always going to be better to do it physically right like for example doing the 
mechanical balancer. But this is just another way. And if you don't have this machine, well, you can just connect it with a bunch of. Uh, I have one of my students. They use, for example, the same bus bars, and they just connect all the batteries in parallel with the with the bus bar, and that's it. You don't really need this machine. This one is because it makes my life pretty much comfortable and fast. But the charger also does the same. Okay. Once you finish to balance your machine, your your hybrid battery with this machine, I'm always going to recommend this gentleman over here for at least one or two days now when it comes to fully servicing a high voltage battery like recondition and we don't have a video about recondition I'm preparing that for the master class okay so hit the button the like and subscribe I am preparing the full reconditioning but the reconditioning process the real reconditioning process takes one week okay one week at least three and a half days okay fully cycling the battery and then you need to connect your machine after the after the last cycle and last balance you need to put your battery into the balancer for at least a couple of days or three days otherwise the balancing process won't be as accurate as supposed to be so when it comes to reconditioning your hybrid battery as I said Prepare that for the master class by just giving you an advance one week that should be it okay so we're almost done over here so we will continue it so we totally finished to uh, service the battery right now it's connected to the machine but I just in this video I just wanted to share with you guys uh, one of the definitely could be the best techniques to bring your high voltage battery in balance all the modules literally in balance at a hundred percent accurate balancing one of the things that I like pretty much having a YouTube channel is the haters I got a comment from one of the haters saying that because you're using the prolong machine you have no idea what you're doing the other one say because you're storing the modules in a horizontal position line one on top of each other you don't know what you're doing so it's just those are the things that I love because I love the debates and a lot of people of course seeing a video my videos are not 100% explaining everything otherwise that will take me hours of course, you know that all the mountain of modules that I have over there, those are bad modules. Those are not for reuse. Those are for sent for recycle. But I leave them accumulate for one year and then I send them away for the recycle. The other thing is when it comes to the charger, we talked about that in our last episode. Any charger that can inject potential difference to high voltage battery is going to work. So whoever comes and tells you that if you're using the prolong because the prolong is a scam and uh, you don't know what you're doing, he, he is the one who doesn't know. He's just being arrogant. Any type of charging. Once you understand what is it to inject potential difference to, from one way to another in this, in, this, in this case where we're using one battery to inject potential difference to another battery. Well, how? Jose, how does that work? Well, one battery with a one state of charge higher than the other one connected in parallel this one's gonna be called the charger right exactly happens the same thing but when it comes to a hybrid battery you got to remember there are many variables that can affect your module like for example if you have a high internal resistance and you are connected to the prolong machine or any charger that could charge your battery collectively if you have a high internal resistance yes the batteries are gonna overheat so, so those are lots of details uh, that I am preparing to the master class in order for you to know details otherwise you will just making conclusions where you shouldn't make a conclusion <clears throat> then after the process of making the complete reconditioning the cycling leaving the battery in the mechanical machine for at least a couple of days three days should be more than enough okay then you have to let your battery rest in for a few days for a couple of days or one day because remember those batteries have 
self discharge so we're talking about what a full reconditioning process after the balance after, I, mean, I mean the full reconditioning and then the balancing then the checking the the same state of uh, charge of individual modules because as I say if you rebalance your battery and then you measure the voltage right away of course all the voltage are gonna be the same so what you, what you should do once you rebalance you have to leave your battery resting for a day at least one day that's why this reconditioning process it, it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of time usually it takes a week that should be enough or but in this case when the customer just comes for a normal rebalance because the battery is already serviced or we're just servicing the battery yes we can do it that's being done in about 24 hours that's not a recondition that's just servicing recondition is a very deep process and a very slow process so you have to charge and discharge for many times a good battery once again Whoever comes and tells you, I recondition and I bring back to life your bad module is lying. How are you going to do? Are you going to rehydrate the modules? Because remember, those modules have acid inside. And if you have a lot of corrosion, where do you think that corrosion comes from? That's acid inside. Like a normal battery in, in time, in a long period of time, loses the acid. So because of that, it's going to lose capacity. So... <laughs> There are a lot of details to discuss, but I am gonna save that for the master class. I hope you guys like this video. This is remember this was just a uh, showing you a fine technique about rebalancing hybrid batteries when it comes to Toyota. But once you dominate potential difference, you can't even charge a high voltage battery connected in parallel just by using a 12 volt battery. Now you're not gonna charge it for a long time, but if you do it for a few moments there's going to be potential difference you will be able to charge it now don't do that if you don't know what you're doing but at least with the basics explanation it's very easy once you understand how it works super easy so those are one of the things tiny little details that i'm showing like at least in my students in the course and so far it's been doing good but the thing is i am very happy to share with you guys all this information here in hybrid solution dynamics so I hope you hit that red button, like, and subscribe. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.